Hi guys, this is Max Tapper again for Howcast. And what I'm going to show you how to do today is a chicken press. Exactly, a chicken press. I've never actually heard that name, but I know what it is. And it's basically a 45 degree dumbbell press where your elbows are going to be in this position. 45 degrees, like chicken wings. So, let me show you how that works, okay? <laughs> so the only difference between a chicken press and a regular press, where the arms are out to the side, and the hip press, where the arms are really close to your hips, is that you're now just going to keep them in between at a 45 degree angle. So you'll be coming out here. That's it. Press up, sewing the way back down. Press up, sewing the way back down. Good, nice and controlled. One of the reasons I would use a chicken press is because some people will have some impingement in their shoulder. Now, if you have some impingement in your shoulder, you're not able to keep your arm all the way out to the side or down. There's a lot of other variations that you can find. One will be here, 45 degrees. And it's usually comfortable for a lot of people. So if you do have any impingement or pain, definitely try different positions of your arms. The 45 degree chicken press should work for you. And if it does, awesome. Other than that, you can just use it as a different variation for a chest press. Whether you want to do a flat bench press all the time, close grip, uh, or hip press, or a chicken press, do any which one of them. So guys, remember, please use a weight that's lighter than heavy, all right? I want you to be a lot safer. I want you to be able to control, have a lot of stability. And if you can do that, you're going to get a lot of results. All right, guys? So see you next time.